Rob, the very latest was we just got an update from the Texas A&M Forest Service, and they say that this 50 acre fire is now about 40 percent contained. That's up from the, what we were hearing earlier so far this morning. And so we know that the crews have been going in and out of this area. We are here at the intersection of Parmer and Colonial Parkway. And again, uh, the mobile command unit that we've seen here in this parking lot across the street uh, left, but then it came back and we've seen several fire crews leave and again come back. So definitely a lot of movement this morning. We know that they're awake and we know that they are working. But again, that latest update uh, is that the fire is now 40% contained. The Forest Service says that forward progression of the fire has stopped, but these high wind speeds are impacting the area, causing the flames to flare up. We know that dozer crews are working and firefighters are on scene as well. Helicopters could be seen last night uh, in the area dropping water onto the fire. We know that all available crews and resources are battling this fire and working on this blaze has been a group effort with more than 20 different local and state agencies helping out. The reason there's been success tonight, and yes, there's been damage, and yes, there's been loss, it's because a fire chief and because a police chief stood up and they stepped out and they did what, what we have paid them to do and we asked them to do, so we're grateful. So far, there's been uh, one minor injury reported, but no major injuries. We know that buildings have been damaged and evacuated. Several roads in this area have been closed and people have been asked not to come in this area to take photos or to fly their drones in the area. The public is asked to stay away and let the first responders do their work. And we know typically that fires, uh, wildfires specifically, they kind of died down overnight. And so that's why we're not seeing any big smoke plumes or anything like that. We're not even smelling a lot of smoke and that's with the wind changing directions. We know the wind is up. We know that those high speeds of that wind is going to be impacting the flames. But so far what we see uh, not much action right now, but we anticipate that to change when the sun comes up and we know that fire crews are working and they've got it about 40% contained. I'll say